Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is the, well, Christmas market. Yes, we are back. Well, I say we're back here. By this point, you will have probably, if all has gone to plan, have seen a video from here and then seen a video from somewhere else and then maybe something else. We are recording several videos out of order. Yes, because we can't release this video, uh, which is the behind the scenes from the Bremen Drop Tower, until I've actually finished the video from the Bremen Drop Tower. So today is the day that we went to the Bremen Drop Tower. Just, yes. In the city of Bremen in Germany. Yes. Which is where we are right now. Yes. <laughs> in a lovely Christmas market. <laughs> oh, well, the, the arse end of a Christmas market. Why didn't we do like hotel lobby? Matt? Why, why are we. So we started off this morning very early with a flight from London. I'm sure we've probably already done a video about Hopefully, that. Yes. Oh, time travel. Uh, well, we are actually trying to deal with time travel. Yes. Yeah. Stop rambling, get to the point. Uh, the point is, we came from Bremen, there is a massive tower. And we went in it. And what's the name of the place we went to? I forgot its bloody name. The Bremen Drop Tower. Right? We just, we just talked about that. Zeddy thing. Oh, Zar. Zar. <laughs> Which is a German acronym that essentially translates to roughly microgravity research centre. And that's where we went. It was in the campus of the University of Bremen. And everyone we met was lovely. Might, might, might put a counter on the screen for how many times we say the word Bremen during this video. <laughs> Bremen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Bremen counter. Yes. Okay. Yeah, a counter for Bremen. Ah, uh, Bremen. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bremen, 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 editing. <laughs> <laughs> we are knackered. <laughs> you can tell this is going well because we haven't got to the point yet. <laughs> Let's run through what we did. We got there. We got in. We yes. met some lovely people. We were early. They were surprised. Yeah, that's true. We, our flight was actually early. Um, <laughs> and they, we immediately recorded the experiment. That was the, that was the first. Oh, oh, it's actually filmed out of sequence because all the video is essentially a series of lies. <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier to um, get everything done quicker by doing it in the order that the stuff is available. Yes. So when we got there, they happened, they, they were paused their experiment so yeah. then we could film it. Yes. Which yes, they did. It's so it. nice of them. Um, so we get there. I mean, it all be... worked. And, and I'll be honest, like we're setting everything up, and I know they've run this experiment. You know, they've run the drop tower thousands of times. Yeah. And it is all this, this literally well-oiled machine. Yeah. <laughs> but there is this little, little imp of the perverse on my shoulder and I hope this goes wrong. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because, like, the same reason that at the end of my video I, I do, right, there's uh, hopefully, because I, I even though everyone watching the video knows that it wouldn't have gone up if that yeah. was the thing, there is this thing that you are firing a really heavy thing really far up with a lot of expensive equipment. Like, if something goes wrong, it's going to be spectacular. And if you've got this far and you haven't seen it yet, the usual, usual, <coughs> usual, fall down the description, there'll be a link in it. Um, <laughs> Now, the thing that surprised me, because I knew where we were going, I knew yep. what we were going to look at, but it's big. Yes. I think I've said it's big on camera many times. Yes. <laughs> but it was that big. <laughs> Cylinder big. Okay, right, not the drop tower, the actual thing that's the going... The thing that's yeah. going up and down it. It's a big capsule. It's, it's. I guess, the like same kind of... That big by that big. Yeah. Good, good meter by maybe... 50 centimetres across. And there were a couple of other experiments which were more like two metres. Yeah, all, all aerodynamic, all, all designed so that it will go up and come down in the same orientation, even though there's only a little bit of atmosphere in there, you still want to, yeah. you, don't, you don't want to set it within the might of unbalanced. So the way it works is they chuck it up using hydraulic pushing technology. <laughs> works, man, works, it works. <laughs> they place it in a hole in the ground, with a hydraulic uh, ram below it that accelerates to about 25 g, and then it gets nine seconds of free fall, more or less, nine ten, and th in that nine seconds. So this is the stuff that you won't see in the main video because it happens after the after the experiment happened. It lands in this pit of polystyrene balls, <laughs> and it's two or three stories tall. Yeah, it's a nine meter pit of polystyrene balls. Like this is, and this is normal polystyrene balls like you get in a bean bag or. Yeah. That kind of thing. Uh, that brings back memories. Oh God, the beanbag party. I didn't even go to the beanbag party. I'm sure you went to that no, party. No, I, I wasn't at that party, but everyone else that I was living with did. Yeah. There was, uh -huh. we were finding this, it in our this, house yeah. afterwards. This is a university party where someone decided to declare a beach theme and solve the beach issue by filling their main living room 
like that deep in polystyrene pattern balls. <laughs> like you could sink into them and it was, it was about up to your neck. I've seen the photos and oh, it looked like yeah. it was... I can't use any of the photos because a lot of people I, I don't really know anymore in the background of yeah. have asked them for permission. I assume if it was a beach theme, it was all bikini-led um, yeah, yeah. swimming shorts. I'm and... fairly sure there's shots of me in swimming shorts just in the middle of a pile <laughs> of... I'll see, if I can, I'll see if I can dig out one that's vaguely appropriate. <laughs> Are you sure you won't? I remember I you was being not, at that party. I was not at that party, no. Which party were you at? Balloons? Yes. And, and the Pumpkinator. And the Pumpkinator, which, where they turfed the living room. Oh, yeah, that was good. Actual real gla glass. Yeah. Grass. Grass. Very, very different. Walking on grass, walking on glass, very different things. Yes. Um, one's muddy, one's bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise that was going to rhyme That's until good. I was saying it. Uh, uh, we were talking about the pit. Oh no! I, 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 the I, yeah, thing. but I was going to finish with the polystyrene balls thing okay. because there's two things you learn. Well, there's three things you learn. Our four main weapons. Um, <laughs> the three things you learn are number one, that's insulation. Everyone was really warm, even oh. though the house is quite cold. It's insulation, so you get us like I'm really warm, yeah. and then you get out. No, actually, no, actually, it's not a beach thing. <laughs> Two, they react badly with alcohol. I they think. melt. I, they do something. It was weird. Um, and, and the third was they they don't provide that much cushion. Like they would just move out of the way. They just move out the way. Like so if, if you, you jumped got, on it, they just right. Which is, and part of was going. I want to jump into that container full of polystyrene, like nine. But what would happen is you would fall about eight meters in there very quickly and probably still break your legs at the bottom. Like. It's going to be better because it's uh, they, because there's not as much space for them to go yeah. to, and that thing coming in at 50 G's is going to crush a lot of them and create some padding. But human going in there, no, it's fall straight through See, the bottom. I was wondering about that, and I thought if I I wouldn't want to jump in there because I didn't think it would feel safe. No, you're just you're just going to fly straight through the crush. I would assume the only reason that that thing can catch it is the huge speed. Yeah, huge speed and the fact it's taking up most of the space, so they compress. Okay. The other thing is you find them for months afterwards. Like, yeah, well, I found them in my house when yeah, I didn't it's... go to the party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that happened. Right, polystyrene beads, which uh, and the one at the, at the uh, where we were at the drop tower has a recirculation system. You got footage of this? Yes, I did. Uh, it's basically a big hoover at the bottom, yep. uh, vacuum cleaner uh, that sucks it all up and then out of yep. nerves at the top. Yes, that's <laughs> nozzles. Go with, go with nozzles. Let's go with them. So it basically loops them around so they don't end up just crushing and destroying a thing when it comes down the next time. Yeah. Right. So that's that. So, so they've now done the test. And then we go off to film interviews. Yeah. Uh, and we film uh, one of the experimenters. We film uh, one of the people who runs the tower. Which is uh, the top of the tower, by the way. We got to go up there. Oh, there's a big lift which takes you up one floor. Yeah. <laughs> and then there is a bridge. Which takes you that tiny lift, <laughs> which takes you up the entire rest of the building. Yeah. And lots of spirals. Okay. Yeah. I thought I saw a firework there. Uh, that's possible. Um, well, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't it was windy. But the vacuum chamber in the middle is basically isolated. Apart from the foundation, it's completely isolated from the concrete it's tower. Separate. It's separate. It's screwed in with bolts. At the base. At the yeah. base level and then it's its own cylinder Base! with the <laughs> sorry it's its own cylinder with the concrete building around it so you can stand on the top and look down and see the and gun. push and actually move this hundred ton vacuum chamber back and forth a little just a tiny bit yeah. you can see it was weird right that's oh, a, a camera it's flash. a camera flash, a camera flash. That's, that's uh, fine. right it's it sit back down here with a camera I don't know I don't know <laughs> <laughs> And up there, above the top of the cylinder, they have got a um, viewing, viewing gallery. Yep. And viewing gallery. That, a conference room. Yep. Yeah, where they do weddings. They actually asked, please, please don't put this in the main video, because they've had someone come along in the past, do a, a proper journalism article about the whole thing, and all the headline, the first thing is, yeah, you can have a wedding up here. That's not It's not doing science. really cool silence. No. Why not talk about the really cool science rather than you can have a wedding at the top of a tower? Which is still quite cool, yes. quite the behind the scenes yeah. stuff. I'm, I'm glad they told us that, because like that's quite a nice that's hundred. And they seem to get on well with the community as well. They say it, it came up in the... Uh, eight, eight, 80s when they started Yeah, they, they have open doors for the local community. Yeah, they 
and it's it's a landmark. You can see it. Well, we couldn't really see it. It was foggy. Yeah. But we could see it appear <laughs> as you were going through the fog. Yeah. It's like the Green Bank Telescope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll see it from miles. No. no, it's foggy. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, you can see it, it's like a sort of like a lighthouse but yeah. without the light. <laughs> and there was it's a house. house. Yeah, it's a house. It's a house, right. Um, there was one other researcher there we talked to, uh, and that was Christian. Christian. No, not the, not the Christian, it's the, a different one. He wasn't on camera. No. We, we were, we were having our lunch, <laughs> and he came up and said hi. Yes. Uh, to, to, Turns out, likes the videos. So, thank you. Thank you, Christian. Um, and he showed off his experiment, which is working with Bose Einstein condensates. Where I'm going to pass to Matt because he will have actually remembered this because his brain is not currently addled, which is really cold matter. It's there's a certain element. It was it rubidium. Or They're using rubidium. Yes. Um, and there is a state of matter. If you've got a a liquid, the atoms are doing that. If you've got a solid, they're doing that. Science! Um, and then this thing that they're doing is they are just crunched together so much that they're in the same quantum space, I think he said. Quantum And it's all moving at the same like time. They've all, because they're all so close together, they've got the same quantum wave function. So you can use it use. like a wave, like the split experiment, where you get... It's really cold stuff. Really cold stuff, and you can use it to uh, measure differences in things by it taking different routes because quantum. Yes. So, <laughs> he shows us off, it's really cool, and then he says, Tom, do you want to make a Bose Einstein condensate? Because standing next to him was the vessel, the experiment, the, the cylinder, yeah, the that, thing that goes into free that he puts into the thingy. And uh, it was cold enough, and it was set up to do experiments. So he's like, do you want to make one? Like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I will click a button on a keyboard. <laughs> and I have a little printout in my pocket just here. There we go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> For a moment I thought I'd just pull boarding the pass. <laughs> boarding pass, <laughs> thank you. Uh, that, that is... I made this. I'll be honest with you. I am not enough of a scientist to know the details of that, other than I've got a printout, and I've been told that I made this. I saw on the screen, before Tom pressed the button, that blobby thing was bigger. After he pressed it, it went smaller. So I'm assuming that was a solid atomy thing, well, bit of matter with atoms in it, and then the atoms all clenched. <laughs> Science! <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was the, the Brevin drop town. Um, it's been lovely. Yeah. It really has. Um, we're so grateful to everyone that was showing us around there. They gave us so much of their time. We were yes. there for the best part. Of we the were day. there for much longer than we thought we were going to. Yeah, that's and really that's because they kept showing us things. <laughs> <laughs> and they bought us pizza. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that I think is probably the last video from Bremen. Even though it's the first one we're filming, and I don't fully understand the whole thing of time travel, I am breaking the whole... End of the sentence. So today, today we, we expose all the lies of time travel in video. And with that, we should say goodbye. Hang on there, What was that ending? Where did that come from? I don't know. 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 I don't